thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day for September the 17th. Our readings today are taken from 2 Kings chapters 24 and 25, Ezekiel chapter 13 and Luke chapter 9. And our thought is putting to death souls. One of the puzzling things in scripture for many people are the references to the death of souls. We have this in our Ezekiel reading today in chapter 13, where the prophet writes, The word of the Lord came to me to speak against those who prophesy from their own minds, verses 1 and 2. They are challenged by the Lord, Will you hunt down souls belonging to my people and keep your own souls alive? You have profaned me, putting to death souls who should not die and keep alive souls who should not live by your lying to people who listen to lies. Verse 18 and 19. Those who have the idea that soul means some inner part of us that lives on somewhere up there or down there after the body dies misunderstands God's word. Long ago, the thinking of non-Christians was adopted by some. It arose in Roman Catholic theology a long time after the time of Christ. When we come to chapter 18, we will see God's blunt statement, The soul who sins shall die. Verse 4, and again in verse 18, A soul is not part of a person. It is the person. The phrase immortal soul, do you know, is not found anywhere in the Bible. Our chapter in Luke's Gospel today, in chapter 9, helps us to reach a true understanding if we have any doubts on this. Jesus called the twelve and he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. Later, the crowds followed him and he spoke to them of the kingdom of God and cured those who had need of healing. In verse 11. Jesus is rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, verse 21, and eventually killed at their instigation. They had their minds set on their position and prestige in this life. But Jesus asked, What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses or forfeits himself? For whosoever is ashamed of me and of my words Of him will the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in his glory and the glory of the Father and the holy angels. Verse 25 and verse 26. That will be the time of reward or punishment when there will be a resurrection. The true hope of life after death will become very clear when we come to chapter 20 and verses 35 and 36. The chapter ends with Jesus responding to someone who said, I will follow you wherever you go. Verse 57. But it is clear from the answer of Jesus that following him has to mean you give priority to the work of Jesus. The chapter ends by saying, No one who puts his hand to the plough and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Will you be fit for the kingdom of God? Nowhere does it say anything about being fit for a place in heaven. In Matthew's gospel, the phrase kingdom of heaven occurs. That is, a heavenly kingdom on earth. Remember the words in the Lord's Prayer? Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth. Matthew 6 and verse 10. When you use the Lord's Prayer in your prayers, be conscious of what you are praying about. Thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, that together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that they are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.